There are many variations in the way people walk, but I believe the most common and consequential variation is in which leg powers the swing through. The standing leg or the swing leg. By consequential, I mean that using the wrong variation can lead over time to significant damage, pain, and dysfunction. In this video, I am going to take a closer look at the two common variations in walking style. I'll explain the mechanics, I'll explain possible reasons these variations exist, and some of the consequences. Stick around until the end because that is where I will give you a tip on how you can improve your walk if you are using the incorrect variation. The difference between using the standing leg hip and the swing leg hip to power the swing through portion of the step is a really important concept. When we're using the standing leg hip, if I'm stepping forward with my right leg, I'm going to, at the point my right foot is gonna leave the ground, I'm gonna power the finish of the step by using my hip on the left to pull the body forward. And that's gonna cause a normal leg swing where you can see, if I do it in this direction, my leg is going to extend behind the body and then I place the foot. That is a normal pattern of walking that keeps the spine, the hips, the knees, and the feet aligned with the feet facing forward. What you're gonna find is if you try to power your swing through phase of the step using your swing leg hip, meaning if I am stepping forward with my right leg, I'm gonna try to power with my right hip to swing through, there is only one really practical way to do that. And that is to turn the feet out in what we call the duck foot walking position. When your feet are facing straight forward, once you shift the weight and you try to lift your swing leg up, it's not going to go anywhere. Your body is not going to shift forward because all of the movements aren't aligned to continue moving you forward. So if you practice that yourself, keeping your foot facing forward, you'll notice that you can't finish the step. What you could do is kind of rotate your body and place your foot this way. And then now, if you continue going like that, you can continue moving forward, albeit in that direction. But if we started with the foot this way, what we can do is we are able to use the swing leg to power the swing through portion of the step if our feet are turned out this way. So you can notice I'm able to shift my weight and then use my swing leg to place the foot because my body is facing in a different direction than my standing leg foot. So I'm able to lift my right leg and place it, shift, lift my left leg and place it. When your foot is facing forward, the standing leg foot, if I shift and I lift my right leg, the swing leg, I can't place it forward. It will just go back. The only way to really place it forward would be if I were to tip the body over. Okay, and then now I can place it because that gets me some forward momentum by leaning forward but obviously we know that is not the proper way to walk. Watching it from this direction, if I shift and try to lift forward, I can't place the foot in front of the body. You can see this little bicycle action. It doesn't get to the ground if I'm doing this. The normal way to get it to the ground is to lift forward from that leg. When I turn my feet out in the duck foot position, now I'm able to swing and place, swing and place. So I believe a lot of people develop the pattern of duck foot walking, not because their feet are turned out at an angle relative to their legs, but they do it because they are trying to use the wrong hip to power the swing through portion of the step. And that is gonna result in this sort of walking. And it could be subconscious, particularly for people who are trying to walk very slow,
because the duck foot walk position and using the swing leg hip does create a very easy way to move slowly without much of a problem. However, the problem is that as you do that, you're not lining your joints up correctly. Your spine is gonna be centered between the two feet instead of over the standing leg. That is gonna cause all your weight to concentrate over the middle of the foot or the inside of the foot, the inside of the knee and the inside of the hip. And this can lead to wear and tear over time. You might not notice it for years, but if you started walking with duck feet in your 20s, by the time you get to be in your 40s, you may have already started wearing out your joints. And I see frequently people who are relatively young in their 40s or early 50s with the need for hip replacements and knee replacements because they are walking like this. And that is concentrating the weight over the wrong parts of the joints, causing them to wear out over time. So if you're having a problem with walking with duck feet, or you just notice that you are using your swing leg to power your step, I want you to try to work on powering your swing through portion of the step using your standing leg hip. If you'll notice from the duck foot position, if I shift my weight to my left leg, if I power by lifting forward with my left hip, it's going to pull my body around so my spine will be facing in the direction of my standing leg. That's an exercise you can practice if you're trying to figure out how to convert from duck foot walking to walking with your feet facing forward or change from using your swing leg hip to power the movement to using your standing leg hip to power the movement. Stand with your feet turned out, shift towards the foot you want to walk with, and then use that hip to pull your body around and forward in the direction that foot is facing. Try it on both sides. I'm gonna shift my weight towards my right leg, and then now I'm gonna use my right hip to pull the body and it's not only gonna pull the body forward relative to my right foot position, it's going to rotate my body into line with that foot. So all the joints will be lined up forward. Hips right over the knees, right over the ankles. And that is gonna really help keep your walking much more healthy, keep your joints much more healthy, prevent your arches from collapsing to due to all of that rolling in of the weight over the arch of the foot. So I hope that exercise helps you and reconceptualizing the idea of using the standing leg hip versus the swing leg hip to power your movement. If you did find that helpful, click the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber and click on the bell to get notifications for my future videos and have a great day.